Irsasiorta.ir is one of 39 Icelandic authors representing their country at the Frankfurt Book Fair. We visited the pavilion where Iceland, as this year's special guest nation, is presenting itself. It's quite understated, it's not loud, it's not flashy, it's very much like Iceland in a way. The German version of the 48-year-old author's latest book was published in mid-September and is already on the German bestseller list. I think with, with Geisterfjord, because it was also a bestseller in, in Iceland, it's, it's popular because it takes place in a remote area of Iceland. And also it's, it's like a crossover. In a crime story you have the very worst happening in the beginning and then you slowly work your way down to, to the solution, so which is like the zero. In a thriller, you, you start at zero and the worst is about to happen. Reykjavik, the capital of Iceland. This is where Ersa Sjordendotir grew up. The mother of two lives here with her family and pets. The dogs know when they have to be quiet. Ersa usually writes on the couch. Here she combines work and family. I can write here at home, be writing the book, and everything is going on around me. I don't need silence, and I can stop for 10 minutes and reply to an email from work or, or help my daughter with her homework, and, and it doesn't bother me. I don't need to... Uh, it's, it's not like it's some, uh, uh, some path that cannot be interrupted. I can just stop, come back, and I, I'll be at the same place where I... Where I when I close the computer. Irsa Sigurtha Daughter's sixth crime novel, with the English title I Remember You, is set in the lonely fjords of northwestern Iceland. Three young people from Reykjavik are trying to restore a dilapidated house in an abandoned village. They have some spooky experiences. Three years earlier, a child had disappeared from a small town at the other end of the fjord, a fate that has dramatic consequences for the three protagonists. The novel combines whodunit logic with the supernatural. Icelanders are fascinated by the mystical. There's still about, I think it was 60% of the nation and in some survey they did recently, that is willing to consider the fact that elves, or, or consider that elves might exist. And it's a nice thing. It's you don't know everything. Ersa Sigurtha daughter has been writing crime stories since 2005. Before that, she wrote children's books. The characters in her stories are fictional, but some of the events are based on fact. And the places in her stories are all real with no exceptions. When I write about a different location than the area I live in, I always go there and I stay there and I try to get the the atmosphere, the feeling, a photo or an article on, on the internet, it's only two-dimensional. You don't see, you don't get the depth, you don't get the, the atmosphere. A geothermal power plant near Reykjavik. This is familiar terrain for the crime story writer, but she's not doing research for a new story. Here's the Sigurtha daughter also works as head engineer in power plant construction. For her, Writing is an ideal supplement to her day job. When working as an engineer, you're handed somebody's problems and you have to solve them, find a way of, of, of for example, building a power plant. Uh, but when you're writing, you're, the way I write like uh, crime stories, you have to solve a problem, but I also get to make up the problem. And that's much more fun in a way. <laughs> Irsa Sigurtha daughter took a vacation from her engineering job to attend the Frankfurt Book Fair. She doesn't want to give up her profession any more than she would give up writing. Her seventh crime story will be published in her native Iceland at the end of November. Mm -hmm.